This is Andy McCaskey from SDR News and RV Newsnet for the Tech Podcast Network here at CES. Uh, I've been really enjoying this particular booth because of the great program content that's uh, that's available. Joe, what can you tell me about D-Link's Boxy Box? So Boxy Box launched uh, late last year and has been uh, very successful. It's selling very well. Uh, people are enjoying all kinds of digital content from the internet, from their local PCs. Uh, you can plug in your USB or flash drives. Uh, lots of flexibility here. Plays just about anything from anywhere. Gives you the choices to play your content the way you want to see them. Yeah. Now I know there was a little bit of a delay coming out, but the product is just superb. Yeah, we did a little bit of a reset. We wanted to uh, to make sure we had support for all the latest, greatest, uh, and future codecs to play all the videos that we needed. So we did a bit of a platform change. We're now using the Intel Atom processor, and it's giving us the performance that we were looking for. So we're very happy about that. Uh, it caused us to do a little bit of uh, you know retooling of the software. And so uh, we still uh, are adding features and enhancing it as we go. Yeah. As I, I pre-ordered one of the units, and one of the things that I noticed was, you know, you have this, this continual improvement process that, uh, that's refreshing. I think that's one of the things that made Boxy software so popular. Uh, it, it answered questions of the people, gave them the functions that they were looking for. And even today, you look at the, uh, the blogs, you know, those people from Boxy are responding to people and getting involved in conversation with them, asking for ways to improve it. And I don't know too many products out there where the companies are really that involved and that serious about giving people what they want. So it really speaks directly to the heart of people. When you spend the money on a product, you know they're going to make something out of it and they're going to try and address your concerns. How many apps are there now uh, in in the store? I mean, it's like every time I tune in, it's like there's another row, there's another two rows. Yeah, yeah, so there's hundreds of them. There's yeah. thousands of movies and uh, TV shows and hundreds and hundreds of apps, and it's growing all the time. Yeah. So, so technically, it can play anything that you can find on the Internet today from anywhere around the world. So it, it's not a problem to get content onto the boxy box except for the people that are you know, in the back room sweating and putting all the stuff together for us. Yeah. Now, one of the features that maybe people don't have a close look at is a remote. This, this thing is a really pretty cool and a pretty elegant device. Maybe we can, yeah. can look at that in some detail. So, on the one side, the boxy remote is going to look very much like a very simple remote that you might find for a TV or radio or something of that nature. But when you use a remote like this to enter alphanumeric, characters, very painful because the old way of doing it, you scroll, scroll, Shug scroll across, scroll, and it takes you a long time, and if you make a mistake, it's very awkward. Well, you flip this over, there's a full QWERTY keyboard on the backside. So everybody's gotten used to using their, you know, their Blackberry, or their iPhone, and typing on small keyboards. This thing's actually very easy to use. So you don't have to get up from the couch. It's RF wireless, so it's, it's not directional. You don't have to point it. And uh, you can you can do your searches with full text searches, or if you have a premium account, you have to enter your user account information. It's really great for entering all that because you don't have to do that scrolling and clicking. Yeah. What was the what was the biggest engineering challenge that you guys had to overcome in the design of the of the of the boxy box? Well, uh, I would probably say you know making sure we have the codec support for all the latest greatest content that's out there. Uh, there's a lot of codecs to support. That was one of the problems with boxes of the old days. So we've been doing media players for a long time. They're not really anything new, but a lot of people were disappointed because I could play something on my PC, but it wouldn't play on my media player. Yeah. Well, you can't support every codec. So you get into licensing issues, technical issues, how much processing power is required. Well, we're in a new age today. The processing power on the CPU is really amazing. Uh, like, for example, the one that we're using with the Intel Atom processor, there's a video coprocessor that helps offload some of that processing right, task. Right. So now we can play some very powerful uh, video codecs. So that's, that's very key to the solution of this product. Yeah. Uh, and so I think a lot of those design considerations are what brought us you know, to where we are today, that you can play just about anything from anywhere. Yeah. Well, and the flexibility of these expansion ports. Now, you, you've got an SD card. What yeah. other ports do you have on it? There's an SD slot on the side, and there's two USB slots on the back. So if you have local content, you can plug it in, or you can access it from your network. So if you have a NAS, a network-attached storage device, 
Uh, if you have a network share, if you have a home media server, if you have just about any way that you have content on your home network, you can access that as well. And that's one of the things that differentiates us from some of the products. There are products out there that don't let you play local content. They're, they're just not good at doing that. Uh, and we, we make that very easy for people to do. You got very broad distribution. Now, I kind of pre-ordered, so that took uh, a number of weeks for it to, to show up. But uh, you, have you got your distribution now under control? Well, it's been an amazingly popular product, so keeping up with the demand has been a bit of a challenge. Um, but I think that uh, you know we're also launching into other countries as well. So I think they've got production turned all the way up, and they're, they're trying to crank these out as fast as they can. Yeah, well, anyway, a great job at Tech Podcast Networks. Really proud to, to be on the, on the boxy, and a lot of our viewers are 